Welcome back to Twying Game, where we are going to work on part two of Westland Survival. Last time we dived in and just skimmed the beginning of the game. Well, now that I've been playing for over six hours, I'd like to show you guys what there is to know about this game to get you started. And the first thing there is to know is that at the bottom here, you have your weapons. You can have two weapons at a time. One that you can use right away, and one to have to switch to right away. And if you go in here, you have an option to wear stuff. As you can see, I'm not wearing a jacket or boots. So what I can do right here is run over to this guy over here. And this is where I can make my jackets and my boots. Now as you can see, it says that I do not have thin leather, and I do not have cloth. But in fact, I do. They're just in my chest, so you gotta make sure that you remember where you put everything, or else you're just gonna be running around like I am. Now, this game does give you a decent amount of stuff to work with at the beginning, like a lot of chest space. You have this broken cart outside, as well as one chest inside, which is medium size. That is this one. And then you have your backpack, which if I took this thing off here, it would take away the whole bottom row. So it's good to always have that on there. I can't wait until I can upgrade so I can make the better one. So once you craft, it'll be good to go. It says this will be ready in one minute and then that can be made next after. Now the big thing about that is the one thing after will not be made until you create, or until you take the first thing. So as you can see, nine of these are done. But the other 15 will not be created until I take those away. That I find is just one small downfall to this whole thing. It's just, even though it has those options to put multiple things down, you can't create them all at once. Now this says that I don't have the ore, but I definitely do. It's just up in here. Now the big thing for this is I do have to create a lot of copper because if I need to create a lot of items like right now I need to make these nails for this one here I need 10 bronze nails and it also if you hold your finger down on the button like on the item that you're looking at it'll tell you what makes those items. I also have another thing that I'm making over here, which is the wanted poster. So I need two more of these. I need 10 of these, which I actually have right in here. I have 11 in there. I'm gonna put these away. Now usually each slot will hold 20 of the same item. As you can see that one, I can't put the remaining in there. So I might just like take out this one thing here. And that's how you make these. Now let's go do something fun, shall we? Now always make sure that you carry some water and some food with you. As you can see, my health or my health is full, but my hunger and my water is down a little bit, so I can actually fill my hunger and water up. And always check your bag before you leave somewhere. As you can see, I left some things in my bag. So I actually want to go back into my house and I want to put some stuff away so that I get the maximum collection because the main thing about this game is collecting everything. So if you're going to collect some wood or you're going to collect some, say, stone, if you want to collect all of that stuff, you're going to have to make sure that you empty your pockets before you go because they're gonna fill up so fast, it's not even funny. I believe all my pockets and all my things are full now. Now, as you can see, I have some food, some water, and some health potions. I'm going to, because I used one water, I'm gonna go to the well. And when I come back, it'll be ready, because it's ready in less than a minute. So it'll pretty much be ready before I even leave. Now in this game, when you are going to other places, like say I have two pickaxes on me right now. Let's go right here. Yeah, I have two pickaxes on me right now. So it would probably be good for me to go over here. Let me check to see if there's any event things going on. I don't see any. So I'm just going to run over here. 
And you can see the little lightning, it takes energy if you want to do a run. Sometimes they'll let you watch videos to make up for 15 lightning. I believe you can only do that so many times in a day though. Alright, here if you look on your little mini map up in the corner, it'll show you little things on the map. Unfortunately, the things it doesn't show you on the map, like the small things to pick up, if I run over here, you can see the circled twig, but if I run away, you see that there's no twig on the map. So even though you're looking on the map for the big things, if you need some of the small things too, just make sure you keep an eye out for them. Now I would say an interesting thing about this game is, as you can see the top right, I get, ener uh, I get experience for everything that I do. Now you can use the experience to level up, say, your damage, your attack speed, your defense, or your spirit. The spirit is a very interesting one. You can actually use your spirit and befriend an animal uh, in the area and then they will help you attack anything that comes after you. Now, say you're standing by two wolves together and you befriend one, the other one will automatically start attacking you. So be weary to stay a little further away when you're befriending them at the same time because you don't want to use up your spirit just to get into a fight right away. I usually use them because I always get people coming after me. So I'm in this place now and on sometimes there'll be other players that'll come and then start attacking me, which I think is kind of funny because I have my gun hidden in my second thing and as soon as someone comes and attacks me, I'm like, well, you know, you should have just left me alone. I wasn't going to attack you. Uh, so I just switch over my gun, blow them away, and then on with my mining I go. I've had people attack me, and then I shoot them once, and it goes down to like they're, they're down to pretty much nothing. I'll give them a little chase to scare them off, and then I'll get back to what I was doing because I really don't care about them. I really just want to get all this stuff. Sometimes, if they just keep on attacking me anyways, I'll just be like, okay, I'll just, you know, send you to Valhalla. <laughs> Alright, so as you can see, I can upgrade any of these. If I upgrade my spirit again, yes, it'll be 9 out of 9. Now, I haven't gone on the actual spiritual quests yet. Ooh, oh my gosh, it's the big guy. Ah. And, yeah... I'm gonna take all that. I'm gonna take all your stuff. If you can see that little green on my shovel is almost gone. Oh my gun, it's still lots there. But if I go into here and I hold my finger down on my gun, it does 259 damage per attack. And my shovel only does 50. But um, I try not to waste my gun because my gun is very important to me. I don't need to raise any more of my health at the moment. Ooh. There, see? One blow, and he's gone. Bye bye, bad guy. They killed these nasty little Indians. My favorite part is coming up shortly here. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button while I still have you here. Oh, here, let's befriend this guy. Good boy. And uh, they don't usually have very much, so I try not to kill them because they're not hostile until you try to take from them. Oh, as you can see, that wolf is coming at me. So now my wolfie's gonna attack him. There. Now these are copper ore. I can get the copper. And with the copper, it helps me make like the... Oh, my wolf guy's gonna fight. There we go. <gasps> I waste a gunshot on him. Nobody wants to do that. I can go back in there. Where is my pickaxe up, up in here? You see that crown? That means it's a really big, like a really bad guy. Okay, one shot and then I'll use my pickaxe for the rest. Okay, maybe not. Another shot. Oof. Nothing useful. Now, as you can see, my health potion, it heals up to 240 damage. And my health is only at 200 at about 400. So I'm just gonna, after the next battle, 
then I'll, I'll do it. I'm always up for a good mining. See, as you can see, you can actually do it where you don't get hurt at all. Let him do the first swing, you do the second. Now what's up in here? Oh yeah, even if you swing and you don't do any damage, it still wastes a swing. Ooh, planks. I will throw my way, way. I will throw away the wedding at the planks, totally. I, th I believe this one is uh, iron ore because of the color. But what are these ones? I kind of want to know. Okay, let's find out. Oh, here's what I'm talking about. Go away, you stupid person. See, people always come in and pick on me. I'm sick of it. I'm always up for these things, so I'll take that. But, like, people just coming up and just attacking me, and all I want to do is get my stuff. Boy, they better learn. I'm just going to put the rope over here. I really want to see what this stuff is. There's lots of shale. Oh, I can give up on that rope. I have rope. And look at this. I've done so much just in this one area. I'm already halfway to leveling up again. Now, I believe I've only died once in this game so far. Good boy. As you can see, my spirit went down to 4 out of 9 because I can only uh, befriend so many animals at a time. Uh-oh. And now I am out of pickaxe. These here will provide good nutrient. Know that I have some of these in my bag. Good boy. Come kill this guy for me. Because I don't want to use my gun. Aww. Is there one more? Oh, I don't want that. He's not fast enough anyways. I really don't care about him. Watch this. I can pilfer through the native stuff. And sometimes he'll be like... He'll say like, get lost or something like that. And if I keep doing it, then he will actually attack me. Alright, that's it. I'm off. Off to my home to go put my stuff away. Do I have enough to run though? Yes, I do. Awesome. All right, so since we went on one tour of an area, which was kind of nice, I got to show you guys a few things. Uh, I will go in and show you this. So this is where you could make your basic stuff. These ones I could select workbench and then I could actually make these at the workbench. Now it says I need these again, They'll probably be in my inventory for what I need. Then there's this one here, which is the money bags. Uh, sometimes you'll get special things like here where I can claim. They go to my inbox, which is here, and I can take them out at any time I want. Now, you only have limited pocket space, so I would just leave this stuff in here until you actually need it. Don't forget that you have this stuff here so you can watch a free tube. And then that goes into your inbox as well. That one is interesting. I usually take that out. Oh, gotta go put my stuff away. And for me, putting stuff away is usually like building bricks, building boards, but I didn't go to the, I didn't go to the woods today. Oh, also, you could take one off by just double, or by clicking on the brick again, because you usually want to keep three rocks just so you can make another pickaxe or another axe. All right, let's put some stuff away. Store all. We'll store anything that's already in there. And I got a lot of these boards, so I gotta go see if there's any place that I can put them. Like over here. So I can go back to here. As you can see, there's only two. And we can go to this one. Just store all. Anything there will go there. Go to this one, store all, this needs this, and this. So now all I need is two copper nails and my bulletin board is good to go. Now there's one thing that took me a while to learn, because I can be a little slow at times. Um, if you click on the house in the far right corner, you could build stuff for your house of course, but the workshops is what took me a while to find. So uh, this one says that I need fabric rolls 
and copper tools. Now I do have copper tools in storage. And I do have fabric rolls in storage. But not enough fabric rolls. I believe all the stuff that goes into my chest here is actually shows up. See, it says that I have two. And I do. I have six of these, so let's try and put them away. I need a lot of them. A lot. Alright, uh, if you ever want to sneak up on an animal, you can actually go like this or sneak by somebody. I'm going to actually use my weaker healing things in here. Oh my gosh, I just wasted a gunshot. That's sad. Heals 240. Heals 120. Heals 480. That's crazy. That's my entire health. So you can actually press split. I put my bag, and I go use. I can also put that in my pocket so that I have it to use on hand. Now, I found the saddle on a dead horse during a event. So sometimes when you go out into the wilderness, there's events. Just so I don't have anything in here. I just need to get rid of that rock. Oh, there we go. Place to put it. Yay! But yeah, this game's pretty explanatory. It's fairly well set up. So I give them props. I did play like the zombie survivor one. And it just kept feeling like I kept dying so much. Like to build something, you just kind of like click on where you want it to. It doesn't tell me what the capacity is before I build it though. I only have one log. So I actually can't build it right now. But anyways, I think that's everything that I need to show you guys. That is pretty much the ins and outs of this game and any tips and tricks I showed you like if you don't have a gun and you need not to be attacked just let them attack first and just go around their backs. This is Twy in game. Twy out.